All right, we're gonna try making uh, workout videos. First, once every week, and then maybe we'll up it to twice a week, three times a week, and eventually I'd love to do this, that we have one every day, and that you guys can follow at home. Uh, the time being, we're gonna try to make everything here body weight, and I won't even incorporate uh, pull-up bar. So you really don't have to have anything. All you need is a space in which you can do pull-ups, push-ups, um, you know, jump around, uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. All right, so for today's workout, we're going to try to do uh, push-ups, supermans, sprawls, and burpees. We'll go through the movements to show you what they are. If you can't do 10 push-ups, uh, then we're going to show you the options that you can do to scale them. Um, once you complete one round, you're going to do it, it five times. You want to try to uh, time yourself, so that way, uh, if you ever want to do this workout again, you can say, hey, look, you know, I did this whole thing. It took me 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to try to beat that time. All right, so let's get to it and show you how to do each of these movements um, and the scale, um, if you can't do strict push-ups, then what your options are for them. So Adam is going to demonstrate a normal push-up. Chest hits the ground, arms go to full extension at the top. Now, if you can't do those, or if let's say um, you can't do more than three in a row, I would suggest scaling it and doing what's called a snake. You would go down like a normal push-up and then snake up. You can do that option. And if you want to find something that's maybe a little bit in between-ish, you can go to your knees. And just like a normal push-up, you keep your body rigid. You're just two points of contact. You're going to be your knees and your hands, but the rest of your body should be totally straight. All right, chest hits the ground, arms go to full extension. Those are your options for your push-ups. Next are supermans. Pretty much everybody can do these. You're going to lay down flat, arms out in front of you, and then you're going to hyperextend your back, lifting up your legs and your chest off the ground. So only contact is going to be on your hips and stomach. Do it again. I'd like you when you do your supermans during the workout to do it a, a one count. So Adam, speed them up a little bit. Just do a one count. So like one, two. So that's what it'll look like during the workout. Uh, next are sprawls. These are good. Um, back up for me a little bit. Um, you're going to go down, and Adam, just just go for it. Demonstrate. All it is is kicking your feet out into a push-up position and standing up. Again. Nice. Now the burpee, which is next. It's the same thing as the sprawl. It's the first part of the sprawl. You do a sprawl, and then you do a push-up and jump back up. Also a little jump at the top. It's a little hard to see you from here. Step back. Like here? No, like, like towards the corner. Yeah, now go for it. Do a burpee again. He jumps out, chest hits the ground, and he stands up and jumps. Uh, if let's say, like you said, you can't do the, the in-between doesn't look like a push-up, do one where you just kind of snake down. You just snake up, and there you go. All right, do another one. Make sure it's clear. See how he snakes down and he snakes up? You don't have to make it look like a push-up. The two things that have to happen during the burpee is your chest has to hit the ground, and you have to stand up and jump. Chest hits the ground, and then he jumps. Nice. So you're going to do 10 of those, and it's going to be five rounds, and you try to do it as fast as you can. If you need to take breaks, go for it. And if, let's say, you're totally spent after two rounds, that's totally fine. Just look at what time it was. And, um, and, um, and that's it. All right.